Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, beloved in Christ. I welcome you to Daily Devotional Guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Today is Saturday, 3rd February 2024. Let us pray. I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his cause with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice for he hath made me glad. Ah, he has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he hath made me glad. In Jesus' name. Almighty Father, we thank you, we appreciate you, we worship you, we praise your holy name. Thank you, King of Glory, for this wonderful day. Thank you for this is the day that you have made. We appreciate you for the gift of life. May your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. Father, as we look into your word this morning, Give us understanding. Holy Spirit, come and take control. Have your way and let your name alone be glorified. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. The topic before us this morning is avoid sin. Avoid sin. Our test is taken from the book of St. John, chapter 5, from verse 10 to 16. John 5, from verse 10 to 16. The Jews therefore said to him, who was killed, it is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. He answered them, He who made me well said to me, Take up your bed and work. Then they asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your bed and work? But the one who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus has withdrawn. A multitude be in that place. And afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Sin no more. Lest a worse thing come upon you. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. For this reason, the Jews persecuted Jesus and sought to kill him because he had done these things on the Sabbath. This is the words of God. Thanks be to God. Avoid sin. What is sin? Sin means Satan identification number. Sin is what you think or do that displeases God. Sin means when we deviate from obedience to God's character and will. Sin is a transgression of the law of God. Sin is an immoral act we commit 
every time. Sin affects our relationship with God. Sin leads to earth issues. It manifests in the works of the flesh. Sin subjects a man to condemnation. Sin is doing things in a wrong way, in, not in the pattern and the will of God. Sin leads to frustration. A child of God cannot be happy while allow any sin in his life. Sin brings guilt and shame. It naked a man before the enemy. Sin allows the devil to manipulate a man's life. Sin will never allow God to hear you or hear your prayers. The Bible says, the prayer of a sinner is abomination to God. Sin grieves and quench the spirit power in a man's life. It blinds eyes and makes a man not to see the truth. Sin corrupts everything a man does. Sin leads to death. The Bible says, the wages of sin is death, and the soul that sins shall die. My brothers and sisters, run from sin. Don't allow sin to destroy you. When we look at the guide, the man who was healed by Jesus was asked by the Jews why he was carrying his bed on the Sabbath day. His response was that the man who healed him told him to do so. When the Jews inquired of the identity of his healer, he could not answer. The man who Jesus healed shows no sign of faith in Christ Jesus. He was not even grateful for what Jesus had done for him. He knew nothing about Jesus. He had never had an encounter, encounter with Jesus Christ. He immediately tells the Pharisees the identity of Jesus. Perhaps he thinks that the Pharisees we leave him alone and they will go after our Lord Jesus Christ. From where we are afraid, we could see that the man, he was afraid of the Pharisees. He was afraid of the authorities. He could not face them. He therefore told them that it was Jesus that healed him. What is your relationship with Christ Jesus? Is Jesus your Lord? Is he your Savior? Can you stand for Jesus in time of persecutions, during trials, during temptation? It is good to serve and stand for our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus healing this man on the Sabbath is not a incidental fact. It is of primary importance. For a man who had been for good 38 years paralyzed, it's supposed to be a thing of joy. It's supposed to be what the Pharisees, the people, should rejoice and appreciate God. But the Pharisees, they were more concerned about their petty rules than human life. What the Jews, the leaders could see was 
a mighty miracle of healing and a broken rule. They are more concerned about their rules, about the laws, than life of people. They threw the miracle aside. They focused their attention on the broken rules because the rule was more important to them than the miracle. Are you living for God's made guidelines or man made? Are you obeying the rules and tradition of man rather than that of God? At times we please man rather than pleasing God. Peter and John, in the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 19, they replied the rulers and the elders and said, Judge for yourselves whether it is right in God's sight to obey you rather than God. Our zeal for the Lord must be strong. Let us learn and put Christ and the gospel first. We should lay aside traditions that conflict with the word of God. Any tradition that does not go in line with the word of God, we must put it aside. From our guide, the advice of Jesus to the healed man seems to suggest that his sickness was caused by sin. It is not all sickness that is caused by sin. As it can see in John chapter 9 from verse 1 to 3. John 9, 1 to 3. Now as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. And the disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned? This man or his parents, that he was born blind. Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. There are some sickness that is to the glory of God. It's not all sickness that is caused by sin. But this paralyzed man as was stated in John chapter 14, John 5, chapter 14. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well, sin no more. Please, a worse thing come upon you. Sin does not only cause sickness, but leads to death. Sin leads to death. Sin destroyed life. Sin is carcerous. We must run from sin. Some girls have died because of sin of abortion after they indulge in illicit sex. There was a girl that was involved in illicit sex. When he found out that was, she was pregnant, the boy denied. The boy refused to accept the pregnancy. And the girl went for abortion. And in the process, she lost her life. The girl lost her life. My dear girls, my dear ladies, please don't involve yourself into sin that will destroy your life. Paraventure, you are pregnant. Please leave the pregnancy. Don't abort that pregnancy. Because you may lose your life at the process. People indulge in morality, reap 
sexual diseases. There are many diseases that are caused by sin. AIDS. There are many sicknesses today that some people are carried about because of sin in their lives. People who indulge immorality reap sexual diseases. Are you living in bondage of sin, such as lying, stealing, alcoholism, fornication, adultery, masturbation, cheating, examination malpractice, bribery, and corruption? The bottom line is that sin brings only destruction. Sin brings death. Therefore, sin is not worth your dignity. Sin is not worth sorrow and grief that it will bring you. Sin is not worth the future of your children and grandchildren to the third and fourth generation. Repent of your sins. Confess to God. God commands all people to repent, to come to him. My brothers and sisters, sin is indeed serious. Sin is serious that God became man and died. He died on the cross for our sins. We need to accept Jesus Christ today. He's the only one that can help you. He's the only one that can deliver you from the power of sins. The problem that you are expressing in your life, it may be because of sin. Do you have a spiritual or physical sickness? Jesus can heal you. Jesus can set you free from sin and its bondage. Daddy, are you still indulging in adultery? Are you still sleeping with young girls? Mommy, are you still fighting? Are you quarreling? What kind of life are you living? Young girls and boys, are you still involving yourself in fornication, masturbation, exam and practice? Maybe your own is Yahoo Yahoo. God is calling you today for repentance. Brothers and sisters, is your own sin, corruption and bribery? In your office, you will not sign any form until something is dropped for you. Please, turn to Jesus Christ today. Repent of your sin. Confess them to God. For forgiveness and for your salvation, you need Jesus. You need Jesus in your life. You have to stop sin before it stops you. Sin brings destruction and death to life. Turn to Jesus. He's the only one that can deliver you. Come to Jesus. Accept him today as your Lord and Savior. Let us pray. Are you ready to give your life to Jesus Christ? What you need to do is for you to admit 
that you are a sinner. Confess your sins. Repent of your sins. Believe Jesus Christ that he died for you on the cross. He rose from the grave. Invite Jesus to come into your life and control your life through his Holy Spirit. Receive him as your Lord and Savior. Father Lord, thank you for the saving grace. Thank you, Father, for you died and rose again. Thank you, Father, that you died for us that we might live. Thank you for as many that confess you, that repent of their sins, that turn to you today. Father, may you accept them as Lord and Savior. Father, Lord, we pray, grant us the grace to live and serve you faithfully till the end of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.